could have saved me a few crumbs. Seriously, Kay? I just opened this bag. You saw me go into town at the Make Your Own Waffle slash Taco Bar. I'm still stuffed. I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be waffles or tacos. Pass me your pencil. I need to change my schematic. Okay, seriously, can you at least not eat all the studio supplies? I really need to finish this. Huh? huh? Mice! Hey, Jax, any reason why you're up on the counter? No reason. I just like seeing this place from different viewpoints. It uh, helps me <laughs> understand my customers better. Which customers usually stand on the register? I am super curious. Is it the small, gray, furry customers with whiskers and tails? That look something like this? Fine, you got me. We've got a bit of a rodent problem at Stax. They terrify me, but I also don't want to hurt the little guys, so I can't call pest control. How could I ever face Jennifer again? But if we don't get rid of them, this place could be shut down. That's not happening. We just need to wait and nicely and safely suggest to the mice that they find a new place to chill. Maybe sooner than later. I saw you eating that behind your notebook. Don't blame the poor mice, Reese. That's low. Don't worry, Jax. We're on it. Come on, Reese. Let's walk and talk and munch. <laughs> Jax is right. This really does give you a new perspective. Like, I can see now that despite all of my security measures, Edie is still sneaking into my room. I was saving that for binge-watching dog mechanics. You know that show is fake, right? Dogs can't fix engines. They just look cute using power tools. I'm ignoring that wildly hurtful comment. What are you finding out about building a better mousetrap? I've watched two mouse music videos, subscribed to a podcast about mice mitts, and downloaded a pattern to make mice-shaped mittens. The internet is a magical place. I'm thinking we'll need an actual magical place to help Jax out with his mouse trouble. You in? Always. Cammy and Dev have been working on this epic treehouse with a skate ramp that sounds terrifyingly awesome. Whoa, that is so cool. Looking good, Dev. I had no idea you can skate like that. True poets possess nerves of steel and ice in their veins. Bearing one's soul is far more dangerous than a silly loop-de-loop. -loop. So, what's going on in Kaylee Reese land? Stax is overrun with mice and they're eating everything in sight. And after they eat, well, those crackers, wires, and unfairly graded mat tests are digested and need to come out somewhere if you catch my drift. Ew. Gross. Miss Reese Easley, I was gate the highest loop to save you from all of that disgusting mouse poop. Just don't. Truly, Dev. We know how much you love animals, Cammy. Protecting their habitats and finding homes for strays. You're the perfect person to help us figure out how to get the mice to leave in the nicest way possible. That was one of my better motivational speeches, Kaylee. Can you not undermine it with whatever that is you're doing? Sorry, I have no idea what the... Whoa! Whoa. I forgot you're not used to paper animals coming alive. It's old newspaper to us. <laughs> Looks like the fearless poet skater has met his tiny, tiny match. I think Dev scared it away. You should bring him back to Stax so he can take care of your mice. Cammy, you are, as always, brilliant. Uh-uh. Nope. One world with a Dev in it is more than enough for me. I'm okay. Don't worry, Reese. Dev's staying put. But we need to get back and help Jax. I'll explain on the way. Phew. I was so relaxed and I'm afraid there. I think I fell asleep for a minute. Where'd Reese and Kaylee go? I thought we were gonna hit the half pipe. Sorry, Dev. I think you missed your chance. And I have to get home for dinner. Maybe you can skate with your new friend. <laughs> I made a new friend? And when I realized the mouse was hearing something that we couldn't? Dev's silent screech of terror. Exactly. And that's why Mr. Whiskers ran off. I did a little research. Some animals can hear sounds that our ears can't. 
If I can set this in the really high frequency range, like 30 or 40 kilohertz, we can annoy the rodents enough to drive them away. It has to work. I'm sick of sharing everything with these mice. I'm an only child. You know I can't roll with that. Speaking of annoying siblings, how's that anti-ED security system working out? Fantastic. Like I've been saying all these years, ED and rodents have a lot in common. As you can see from this drone footage, oh, thank you, Melvin, for that. Uh -huh. There's plenty of room in here to dump the junk that I have judged not shiny enough for my collection. Daphne, no! Back to your seat. We have a lot to cover this morning. As long as we don't get caught, we can use Parchment Pond as a garbage dumping spot for years to come. Now remember, stay hidden. If that gruesome twosome Cammy and Dev see you, I'll never hear the end of it. Now, get all of this sadness and drabness out of my sight. The Shredders better not mess this up. Getting rid of my non-fabulous junk is good, but I'm running out of room for my real treasures. Once I know I can trust them with this mission, I can put my real plan into place. Finding new, clean, unpolluted places in confetti to keep growing my precious collection. And, if a few ponds get dirty, or some boring bird's nests and squirrel bunk beds get trampled in the process, too bad. By the time my arch-nemesis, Professor Seymour, that eco-friendly freak, finds out about it, it will be far, far too late. <laughs> Edie, Jax isn't hiding from you. He must be out back getting supplies. But he promised I could let Jennifer the ferret sit on my shoulder. I even put it in my calendar, see? Clearly we don't share the same talent for organization. It's been three months since I saw my planner. Hey everyone. Oh, Edie, I forgot you were coming in. I'm so sorry, but Jennifer can't play today. She fell trying to reach a bag of cheese puffs on top of the refrigerator and hurt her back leg. We can relate. Oh no, poor Jennifer. Will she be okay? Definitely. The vet says Jennifer needs to rest and not put weight on her hurt leg. But well, try telling her that. All she wants to do is run around and play. That's why I have her in here. If you need a break, I can carry her in the sling. That would be really helpful, Edie. If it's not too much trouble. <laughs> I bet we can figure out a way to get Jennifer back on her feet. Uh, pause. She looks so sad cooped up in there. My mind is already racing like a ferret chasing a cheese puff. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are evil Queen Frivol's shredders doing here? Slow down! They're going to run over its nest! Oh no! I know you were just trying to play with the possum, but you ruined their home. It looks like they were dumping Queen Frivol's junk into Parchment Pond. It's bad enough that she has those ugly trash piles on her own land, but now she's polluting the rest of Confetti. There's nothing she won't do to feed her collection obsession. We need a plan, Dev. Don't worry, Cammy. Frivol's gonna pay for this. Here, baby possum. Follow me. Look, here's your mom. Ah! Okay, fine. Now you don't get a song. I don't even care that possum rhymes with awesome. Okay, Dev. Our furry families need new homes. What do you think about a quick trip to see Reese and Kaylee? I need a change of scenery to get my creativity flowing. Are you guys learning about ferrets too? Did you know that ferrets sleep up to 18 hours a day? Did you know that a group of ferrets is called a business? Business ferrets? I wonder if they wear suits and carry briefcases. Wow, Edie, when did you become a ferret fanatic? I was trying to think of ways to help Jennifer's leg and ask the school librarian for help. Edie, this is amazing. Seriously, librarians are rock stars. We can make Jennifer a little cart with wheels. 
She'll be so happy to start running around the Maker Studio again. We definitely want in on Project Fast and Furious Ferret. Right, Reese? Absolutely. And since you did the research and found this awesome stuff, you'll be taking the lead, Edie. You know what this project really needs? Um, pipe cleaners. Edie, as the project leader, do you think you can procure the necessary provisions? Extra fuzzy ones and purple. It's Jennifer's favorite color. You got it. Guys, Kaylee's little sister Edie is around and she cannot see you here. Gotcha. We'll be quick. Promise. Queen Frivol sent the Shredders to pollute Parchment Pond with her piles of junk, and they plowed right through this little family's nest, and a bunch of other animal habitats, too. Now we have a lot of homeless critters. We figured since you hang out with Edie's hamster and Jax's mm. ferret, you might have some ideas. Speaking of Jennifer the ferret, we're working on a project for her right now and are studying up on her furry friend. Did you know that in the wild, ferrets move into nests that other animals have left behind? Little recycling rascals. <sighs> Cammy, I bet with your amazing origami skills. Ah, uh, of course. I knew you'd get the creases out of my creative brain. We can make the cutest origami nests and burrows for all the animals. Even Dev's, uh, lovely possum. Wait, my possum. I lost him. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm out. Thanks for the inspo. Good luck. Happy habitating. 15 inches from nose to tail. So her back legs can rest here, and the front wheels will go here. Four pounds, one ounce. We have to use a really light filament to 3D print the frame for the cart so she can easily pull it around. Jax, Jax, guess who thought of the light up wheels? Gee, I have no idea. <laughs> I can't wait to give Frivol a piece of my mind. Uncle Seymour said he'll help us too. Frivol's trash obsession is out of control. She has trash where her heart should be. Not only did you fail to get rid of all of my trash in Parchment Pond, you think Cammy and Dev saw you shred a bunch of bunny beds? Are you sure? Well, maybe they... Oh, no. Oh, please, no. No, no, no. Don't, Don't be a frivol. Go, go hug, hug a squirrel. A squirrel.